All right, well, Uber is taking flight. The ride hailing company now offering helicopter rides from Manhattan to JFK beginning July 9th, setting itself up to be a prime competitor of Blade. The New York based company allows users to create their own crowdsourced flights or purchase seats on pre existing flights between locations in and around New York City, Southern California, San Francisco, the Bay Area, and more. And Blade CEO Rob Weissenthal is here to give us his thoughts on the competition space. Rob, Thanks for being here, man. Uh, when we talk about Uber, though, moving in on this, of course, they're just starting in New York, but is there a worry in your mind that they could start to creep in on every one of your markets? I'm worried about their car showing up after the show. <laughs> but no, uh, I, listen, to us, this is, there can't be any greater validation of our strategy and our number one position uh, in New York uh, than Uber entering the urban air mobility market in New York City. Uh, we fly to JFK, Newark, LaGuardia from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., from three heliports, um, uh, and we fly on Sundays as well. Right mm -hmm. now, they seem to be doing it from downtown, which is a sightseeing heliport. Uh, we have uh, private lounges on the east side and the west side, uh, and then uh, one other. Uh, and right now, I just looked right now, I'll show you guys. Uh, the price on a Uber SUV is $258. Uh -huh. so you can get that. That's Where live that? from the west side. So at $195, we're beating that Uber SUV barrier, yeah. kind of shattering it, turning a two-hour drive potentially into about a five-minute flight. Uh, and guess what? You don't have to be platinum or gold or anything. Anybody can go on the app and do it. So. Uh, you don't have to worry about that one. Well, we had a really robust conversation kind of looking forward to our chat with you. We were yeah. talking about that eight-minute flight, that five-minute yeah. flight. Realistically, when you have this congested airspace, particularly in New York, and you have weather conditions, I mean, what are, what are what's the real experience for somebody flying one of these? Well, I think that, you know, some people are doing it to save time. And some people are doing it because, at least uh, for our JFK product, you're seeing the Freedom Tower, you're seeing Ellis Island, you're seeing the Statue of Liberty. And five minutes is actually a lot of time, uh, a fair <laughs> amount of time in the air for some people. Yeah. And also, I think you got to have an end-to-end -end experience. So Uber is using UberX's within their family. We have dedicated uh, Blade Urban Air Mobility vehicles where the drivers are trained just to move people from helicopters to the terminals. We meet and greet service, which uh, Uber is not going to be. Uh, affording their passengers where people actually meet you when you get out of security and you got to have that seamless connection. We also have a relationship with uh, American Airlines where for an additional fee they will meet you literally from the plane, bring you in a tarmac and mm -hmm. now you lose 20 minutes mm. of walking through that terminal, finding an Uber or Lyft or what have you. So I think you got to really have that entire end experience and this is all we do. You know, we fly, uh, and so we fly people. We don't drive, so we don't drive people. So yeah. we're kind of a single mission for five years now. Is there any concern that Uber can Amazon you here and just take a hit? Like they, they can charge more, but they can also lose more than you guys. They've undercut in a lot of markets before. Yeah, it's look. It's uh, clearly. I think that when it comes to aviation, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure people want to get on a $35 helicopter. <laughs> right? I, I think there really is, you know, your number one priority is safety and then being a good neighbor. Uh, you know, we have, uh, we're profitable in our core markets. We have strong unit economics uh, on uh, the helicopter flights that we do. Mm -hmm. uh, we have really strong safety vetting in terms of a head of safety that has been 25 years, former military and police department. Uh, it isn't, you know, our growth has been great, but we put souls in the air every day. It's a huge responsibility. Uh, you can't cut corners, and you got to invest, uh, and you have to price it uh, fairly. And I think when you're getting to the point where, you know, you're now beating the Uber SUV pricing, I think we're at a very good place. But also, I think one of the things that people aren't talking about, you know, obviously drivers, what does it mean to a driver? And we're trying to deal with it for drivers who come to us, uh -huh. where you're only getting a $10 or $20 drive to a heliport as opposed to that $250 drive to the mm -hmm. airport. I'm not sure what that means for the Uber drivers. Well, let me ask we're you, starting to think about things that in terms of the people who come to us. Well, let me ask you this last question too, though, because we're, we're noticing where these flights are being taken from, right? And you offer them in New York City on the west side. And the east side. And the east side. And downtown. And downtown. OK, yes, so there's the other. Right. Were you surprised by the fact that Uber was looking to offer these downtown? I mean, was there kind no. of one spot? I think it's because we have exclusive lounges on the east side and the west side, mm -hmm. and we don't have an exclusive presence down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I think it's easy for Uber X's to find it because they're not they're doing all sorts of things. They're kind of part of the gig economy. They're going all different ways. They're not specifically for 
at least our understanding is, for these helicopter missions. So I think it's a good place for them to start. There's definitely a lot of business, and I think that it will grow awareness of it. I think they're good at what they do. And you're not um, worried about it. What? And you're not worried about it. I'm excited it. about it. Look, anything that grows the market, you know, by the way, would we be talking about helicopters in New York City if they didn't launch today? You raise Probably a not. good point. You raise a good point. But we'll have you back on to talk I about it later on it. down the road. Great. All right. Thanks for having me. Rob, thank you so much. Appreciate you taking the time.